Hey guys, I live streamed yesterday this entire event thing. Uh, I had troubles, but it's okay, because I finally beat it, and yay. Anyway, in other news, Woke's Pizza Party. Looks like you're invited to Woke's Pizza Party. Beat the pizza party, map to buy the Warner Drive. Buy. Yeah, uh, you now have to unlock by uh, beating an event, but you don't get it you, like you normally would in the rest of the updates. You now have to purchase it for 4,000 golden coins. And the Slaughter of Warden discovered the secret reward skin. And yes, I do have that. We'll make a separate video on that. Update log, Warden Tower. In order to buy this tower, you must be Pizza Party. Cost 4,000 coins. The Pizza Party map, seven new maps. Changed some model things and yeah, a bunch of other crap you probably don't care about. Now, there are two ways you can play the game. Uh, you can either go here to this matchmaking thing, which sucks just because you get paired with dumbasses for the most part. Or you can wait on these sides and get up with a group of friends like you should and beat the lobby in a strategized way. For my strategy, it is short and easy. I play by myself and I use admin commands. But yeah, as you can see, it's the Finance at Freddy's theme. It's like a little kid's party and then it's all scary with a big hole in the wall with a blazing flames. See, look, I'm always not replaced by Finance at Freddy's guy in Dream. And this is a new Warden Tower. I have a special skin on this, so that's why it uh, looks like this. It is the green guy from Finance at Fred Freddy's. It's so goddamn cool, you guys. I love, I love green guy. Got ourselves a little TS pizza thing. Also, you guys may notice on the floor that they put uh, blood in here. It's, it's, it's super gory for a uh, TDS game. I mean, of course, just red bricks, but but, but yeah. Of course, it was actually pizza sauce, so. On wave 10, we get our first little boss. So it's not really the abnormal boss we see, but it's the animatronic versions of your tower, aka Scout right here. <laughs> look at their little dog dies. They just look so cool when they die, man. And the max scan just looks creepy as hell for the uh, warden. And it has that door from the little um, Finesse Freddy's game you play to lock, to, to lock it down. Max Wardens do stun or shock uh, the scouts, or really any something that's not an in-game boss. So that's what makes them super good. Breakers are also coming back in. Those pretty much replace the uh, mysteries, which is good to see. Monkeys! Monkeys coming out of wave 20! Monkeys! They have more HP than um, balls, by the way, so they're kind of annoying to deal with. On uh, wave 22, we get the animatronic shotgunner. 3,000 finer health. Nice, dude. He does not get frozen but he does get slowed down by the uh stunning which is still helpful but not as good as we would want it to be dream self guy looks funny oh he died oh yeah see classic glitches nice dude oh right, when they die they have little battery packages around the back and look how it fades out that is such a cool detail right there dude wave 28 get your first flying guys balloon boy balloon kid you know from that game that steals your batteries i'm not sure which one it was i think it was part two uh I have eight titles, so it's fine. It's just that kind of annoying to have a certain tower to counter these goddamn dudes. Pursuit works, but I think Pursuit sucks now. They kind of nerfed it or something. Wave 30, we got our first commander. I'm gonna talk now. This one is kind of new because he'll buff nearby zombies to make him go even faster. Please do it, commander, before you die. Do it. Commander! Commander! Damn it. Well, I guess it's time to start cheating and put down more accelerators. Now there is the commander again now. He'll start to buff. Yes, there you go. He'll buff his nearby allies, which are your enemies, and he'll make them go faster. Super annoying, although it doesn't last too long, so it's not really a big deal. But it's just really cool to see so, uh, something like this occur. It's new. God, yeah, look at all those shotgunners. Uh, we're fine, though, just because accelerators are still pretty good. We have to fire the... Uh, Warden comes in. He has not been reskinned. He still looks uh, the exact same from Fall and all that stuff. Really wish they changed up this guy though. It would have been dope to see something new for him. We have 36 to get the Necro match boss. It has not changed. It just looks different here because of the mass thing he gets. Commander dies. <laughs> mm, I'm struggling kind of. Skip wave. Yes, sir. Now, wave 39 is pretty cool because what you're going to see is well, these slimes are not the cool thing I was talking about. Those stun your tower, by Quite annoying. But we get to see the Umbra uh, animatronics. So kind of cool, dude. They're called Mimic uh, uh, Umbras. So she does make, make a return, but she doesn't do anything. She just walks, unfortunately. I wish they gave her her staff or something like that. That would have been dope. The last Umbra is now dead. Wait, 40 is here. You guys know what that means? It's the end of the goddamn game. 
And there he is, the walks of fox along with his mini gunner animatrox is so cool. They pretty much function exactly the same like the Templars. Oh, he does this. <laughs> On stream, that was much more uh, funnier. Says who? You need four people to trigger it. Because I don't see that anywhere. Do you, did you get that from the guy who uh, won this or what, huh? Someone says you can't do this solo. Okay. So then, tell me the facts. Show me the car facts then. Show me the car facts. Whoa! Whoa! My golf. My gone. Ow! Dude! I was so scared, you guys! Oh my god! What a genuine, real reaction! Oh my god! Someone call 911! Someone call 911, please! Please! I'm dying! I'm dying! I got shot by the jump scare. Please help me. Please! Someone! <sighs> totally genuine, real reaction, you guys. But, yeah, he does a stun thing and all your towers get a little ghost effects. I'm not sure what that exactly does. I don't know. Ah, oh, his kick thing. He throws a kick out and just stuns every single tower around him. Dope! He was buffed to half a million HP, which was... Too much for this kind of short map along with his attack combo, so he nerfed him back to 250,000 health. This one, he just, yeah, does a pie throw around him and another jump scare incoming. There we go. <laughs> I feel like that would be more scarier if it didn't have the black thing and maybe just auto play loud sound and distort your screen. But to be fair, there are a lot of uh, young ones in here. It probably would make them never play the game again. As he gets more damage, he now gets into a more damaged state visually as well. He starts to lose his little blue armor stuff until finally he's just exposed to a skeleton and then he dies. Dumb furry! FURRY! That's what you get, man! That's what they all deserve! Yeah, Dev's not thinking full me, thinking that's not a fair- <laughs> Yeah, nice try, buddy. I know your little game plan. But yeah, Triumph, when you beat this, you unlock the Warden Tower, which again, it is not free, you just unlock, you still have to pay for their damn thing. Little quick overview of the Warden's secret skin. Zero, one, two, three, and four. Is it just me or is one or two the, the exact same? I'm seeing zero visual changes. Dude, did he just get lazy? Oh my god, the first time I've seen that in years, dude, because I genuinely don't see one change. <laughs> I don't know why it was so funny. Why was that so funny? But uh, yeah, nonetheless, this is one of my favorite skins because of the purple guy. I just wish it looked like that as well on the max because now we get some animatronics sort of thing, which just looks cool. I just simply prefer this guy.